Now I'm going to show you how to make this fancy-tailed um, peacock watermelon. For our peacock, we've chosen a fairly round watermelon. This one is small, but if you'd like a bigger one, a bigger one will work also. I'm cutting up a lot of watermelon today, and so uh, I don't want to use big ones. Um, the first thing for our peacock is we need a really sturdy base because we're going to be putting the beautiful feathers in the back. So you, I'm going to cut off quite a bit on the bottom so I have a nice and sturdy base. And that really won't roll. Next we're going to sketch out our the head and um, the, the, the supporting feather structure for the peacock. So for the peacock head we're going to start with just a semicircle like this. That's going to come down to a long neck. And then it's going to widen at the base. So that's the outside of our neck. And this is the inside of our neck. And then the head almost goes straight across from the bottom, like so. And if you can see that, that is our neck and head section. Okay, since it's not showing up so good for you on the screen, I'm going to use a water-soluble, non-toxic marker to mark this off so you can see what I'm doing. And we want, we want our plumage to, to come around high in the back and then down low and we're going to just make like little wave marks all the way up like that in the center of the back now you'll you'll put your finger on the head and draw it back to get the center on the center you want a peak just like a little triangle and that will be your top wave and, and then you want to have an even amount, one, two, three, four, on either side. And you just do the same thing. There's, here's our, our head is here. There's our head. This is our first wave. Oh, we went in like this. One two, three, four. There's our center. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have a nice even amount. After you sketched it out and you like it, then we're going to cut. 